welcome back to the breakfast club we're returning now to our regular programming and we're taking you to our person of interest india's race to become a global semiconductor hub is heating up and it's leading right in the front leading the charge is polymer tech it's a homegrown pioneer in opto semiconductors as india sets its sights on dominating the global semiconductor landscape we uncover the hurdles the opportunities and the role this company plays in this journey so today we speak with Ishwara Rao Nandam, the man driving the innovation. Let's welcome him on the program now. Hi, good morning, sir. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on The Breakfast Club. Now, you know, when we talk about semiconductors, India aims to be a semiconductor hub. What, according to you, are the three biggest hurdles you see come in that way? And what and how can we really overcome them? Yes, India's uh, this ambition to become global semiconductor hub is a very bold and critical move. The major challenge and the advantage what we have is the current government. Government more, uh, the current uh, administration is supporting this industry like anything. So, but to we have a couple of uh, hurdles. And uh, I will tell the hurdles and the solutions both. Hmm. The first one is we have, uh, um, we do not have the uh, uh, major infrastructure. The like in infrastructure is, uh, it, it is, uh, if you, you know, semiconductor industry needs uh, quality power supply. It means once the ingot, when yeah. the ingot is grown, hmm. it hmm. needs uninterrupted power supply even one volt should not vary and the frequency should not vary hmm. so this type of uh, uh, infrastructure power then uh, different gases these are all the main in, uh, require, requirements and also the uh, we need to bring some foreign direct investments very majors we have to bring into india so that the ecosystem can be developed so you know the top people uh, in the world that can be ppp model or however they have to come to india and then uh, that 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 definitely will enhance the uh, ecosystem in india the current uh, system whatever we have uh, we can we can uh, develop uh, more than 10 nm below 10 nm and nm if you want to go definitely these people have to come and we have to have some uh, collaboration uh, with these companies mm -hmm. and uh, the the thing is uh, we need to have uh, government has to also think uh, maybe this is the right time i think we are uh, dis having a discussion yeah government should think of giving uh, some tax breaks yeah mm. What are the critical building blocks that India needs to attract uh, leading edge semiconductor manufacturing? You can see it is in, uh, one is uh, advanced infrastructure is also required. First, I have told you the normal infrastructure like electricity and uh, the uh, gases. Not only that, we also have some advanced infrastructure like clean rooms for fabric, for, uh, where for fabrication we need clean rooms. This clean room infrastructure is not available in India. So Polymatech is actually trying to bring in this technology and uh, definitely we will be taking some uh, major role into this. That is one. Then uh, supply chain infrastructure is uh, the more, more the manufacturer, manufacturing mm. of this is mostly rely on the uh, supply chain, mm. the raw material, the equipment, finished products, etc. Mm. So robust logistics infrastructure is also uh, uh required for this then uh, the third one what i can say is energy and water supply electricity mm -hmm. i have already told water supply clean water is uh, also needed so water treatment plants uh whatever we have we we have to bring in the uh water treatment companies uh, from europe so that the uh, clean water can be given the uh, second point what i have told you is a favorable policy uh, mm. and uh, incentives are already declared but favorable policy has to be there yeah. means uh, it is like uh, there are there are some challenges like uh, though it is we are all talking about ease of doing business uh, there should be speed of doing business also mm. has to be there mm. 
All right, good points there and we really hope uh, that we're not very far away from the budget day. So we hope the finance minister is listening in to you. But talking about the industry, sir, how are you attracting or even retaining top talent in engineering, which seems to be something that, uh, you know, the entire sector is sort of suffering from? See, um, we, uh, though it is a um, different... Uh, uh, we are different from the other organizations you you feel and people who are all listening that may feel we never ever take any person who has experience hmm. we take fresh boys and girls from the engineering college and i personally believe that their imaginary things will be better than any any person so without any baggage we take the fresh graduates and what we wanted to do only we will say we will tell about our products and uh, the the way the new engineers the new graduates give us the suggestions our uh, product cost will come down product quality will improve hmm. and the, uh, the output also will increase so this is what we have uh, put into the culture of the polymatic hmm. i have learned this from one of the uh, biggest Japanese uh, company uh, that the new and fresh engineers only will develop the company. So in my company, uh, in the polymeter, I am only the oldest person. <laughs> All are young people. So when uh, and and ultimately you get respect when you are older, right? So the people, uh, the boys and girls, as and when every year. Uh, uh, they grow themselves then by working in the company they grow themselves we are pa we are creating the career paths and uh, now you know we have expanded in us we have expanded in france we have expanded in singapore we oh. are expanding in chhattisgarh so these new boys uh, fresh graduates they go across the globe and that is their uh, that they they learn from there oh. and they bring it so their retention policy is inculcated in our culture uh, by default Great. Higher freshers seems to be a big theme today. Uh, tell us, what are the three most critical areas where India can become a global leader in the semiconductor value chain? Uh, yes. We, the, the, uh, there are three, uh, I will tell you all three one by one. One is the uh, uh, semiconductor fabrication and advanced manufacturing. Hmm. Here hmm. I will pause uh, with the regular question and I will give you one. Um, what is the semiconductor industry? Semiconductor industry is basically it has four verticals within this industry. Number one is growing ingot means where you manufacture silicon or silicon carbide or sapphire or uh, the diamond. It, the ingot will be grown like this and it takes 28 days normally. So this is a one particular one vertical. Hmm. Once the ingot is grown, then it will be cut into pieces and then it will be ground and polished. It is called wafer. So that is the second vertical. Third vertical is making the wafer and building the semiconductor on it. So the substrate is made and after that he will build the semiconductors. After the semiconductors, once they are built, then it will be uh, uh, made into small pieces and actually the semiconductor chip if you know it is 100 microns by 100 microns yeah so if you you cannot hold it hmm. so it is like i will say like uh, life of a human being <laughs> so you cannot see it you, yeah. you can only you can only feel it so yeah. it has to be given a body hmm. the body that is called packaging okay so that is uh, advanced uh, hmm. there are many packaging varieties hmm. so making that packaging is the fourth vertical and after packaging it will be uh, you can hold it means the machine can hold it hmm. that time it will be populated on a printed board circuit so we have a presence in everywhere all right, so end-to-end -end presence, that uh, should come handy in for you. And thank you for that tutorial there. But beyond manufacturing, talking about jobs there, uh, how do you think the growth of the semiconductor industry will translate into some of high-skilled, high-paying jobs across sectors, say AI, Internet of Things, healthcare even? There are many uh, jobs will uh, come up like R&D as I have told you and the, India is lacking into this. We are very experts in uh, software and uh, software related activities with that background. So if 
we can have ai chip designs there are design engineers and the government of india with some advanced institutions in france and japan and uh, taiwan if they collaborate so we can develop the ai chip de- designers data scientists uh, machine mm. learning engineers and there are many many things uh, all once these are all come the the uh, i think there will be a, more than uh, 10 million jobs a government can create in this sector by uh, uh, iot semiconductor engineers embedded mm. system engineers mm. so we already have uh, this type of uh, uh, what we can say ecosystem here in india especially mm. in pune uh, gurgaon and uh, bangalore hyderabad you know all these places in chennai so not only this uh, i do not know whether you are aware of this or not apto electronics or semiconductors also may play very major role in healthcare yes we also develop lot of biomedical uh, uh, products and uh, like vein finders which will be used by the doctors in the uh, uh, surgery etc sir so the, the, we can develop we can bring many biomedical engineers and there will be healthcare technology specialists and there will be a lot of r and d in medical devices and ai power diagnostics for you know uh, this one and clinic when the clinical data analysis is done there will uh, the, the analyst itself is a big uh, chunk of jobs we can create mm-hmm. and in automotives also uh, ev autonomous vehicles there are multiple multiple uh, jobs we can create uh with this ai and iot when it is coming actually i am telling you a different angle all other people are worrying ai and iot will take away jobs. jobs are going <laughs> but they will be creating multiple th- millions of jobs all right mr nandam thank you for sharing those details with us okay with that we are going to be drawing our show to a close